What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jaden. I'm going to show with you guys today how to connect the MCF app for Shopify and Amazon's multi-channel fulfillment basically allows you to use Amazon's fulfillment network to fulfill your Shopify orders. So if you're selling on Amazon or you plan on selling on Amazon and you want to send your inventory to Amazon or it's already in there, and you want it to fill your Shopify orders, then Amazon MCF is for you. It's completely free, you know, minus shipping charges and stuff like that, but there's no cost to the app itself. Um, so here's, I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step. So first log into your Shopify account, go to your Shopify app store, and then you're gonna search for Amazon MCF, and then it will be this one right here, the one that shows Amazon, Amazon MCF, US Fulfillment, and this is only available for the United States as of the recording of this video, but I want to show, or I do have another method for you guys who are outside of the US that is also completely free for the time being. Um, so I'll make another video about that and link it in the description for you guys. And Amazon does have a whole guide here walking you guys through how to set up the app, but I'll also show you guys via video. So first we're going to click add app to add it to our Shopify store. Yep, install app. And it's going to be quite simple, guys, pretty quick to set this up. Okay, so all this stuff squared away. Then open app. Log into US account. Yep. In this case, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna need an Amazon seller account if you haven't already set it up. Um, if you're already selling on Amazon, then you'll have it. Then you don't even have to log in. It just a couple clicks and you're done, like you saw. So first, we're gonna connect to the US marketplace. So we're gonna click connect account. We're gonna click, yep, connect account. Boom, already done and SKU mapping is taking place and what that means is simply for your product that you want to be connected to Amazon um, first you want it first it has to be on Amazon it has to be an active Amazon listing but also it has to be an active product on Shopify as well so make sure you have the product on Shopify and Amazon already and there are tons of tutorials for how to set up like Amazon listing and stuff if you guys uh, are not sure what to do about that but basically, then you're going to look and see, okay, is it mapped or not mapped? In this case, these three are mapped, which is good. Those are the products that we'll be using. Uh, those are the example products we'll be using in this video. So that's good. They're mapped, so they automatically map. they only take like a few minutes or whatever for you guys. But then after that, go back to welcome. So map SKU is done. Then we're going to go manage shipping. Click on shipping options. And so they're different shipping options here. I already, I downloaded and deleted this app just to walk through it and make sure it worked um, for this tutorial. So it would, like the original name was just like standard shipping or something, but I'd like to name it something nicer, like insured standard shipping and then actually say the time frame, you know. Um, and in this case, because you're using Amazon's fulfillment network and their services to ship out your orders, then their shipping speeds will be it's 100%, you know, three or five days. Expedite is two days. I've had some times where two days is actually three days. It's usually, it's usually two to three days. Priority one day, yep. It's usually always one day, if not same day shipping. Um, usually it's not sh same day. It's usually one day, though, for priority. Um, but anyway, so you want to, you can name the shipping options whatever you want. You can leave them as the standard, which is, you know, usually says standard, expedite, priority. But the most important thing is to make sure that these names are the same as in your Shopify account. So you want to go over here and you want to create a general shipping rate. So we're going to click on manage. And uh, actually, no, we don't go there. But we'll create new shipping profile. So Amazon MCF, I already have one created, but we'll just do another one. Okay, and then we'll do add products. So select that one there. Um, we'll disable that because we don't need that one. Amazon MCF. Yep, that's the correct one. So once you connect the app to your store, then it'll, it'll already show up as a location option. And then you're going to click create zone. In this case, it's just US only. So I'm going to name it that, United States. And if you're doing US only, um, which honestly, I believe that 
Amazon, yeah, Amazon MCF can only fulfill to the United States at this time. Um, I'm sure they'll come out with international shipping soon, but for now, MCF is limited to US only. And when you do US only, you see it says 62 states. There's not 62 states in the US. Um, so it includes territories and stuff like the American Samoa. So you want to disable those. Um, there's a bunch of there. I'm not going to do it now, but you know, you guys can go through and make sure just the 50 states are in there. Um, so we're going to type in the United States. We're just going to select all of them for the sake of example, add rate. And this is where it's important. The shipping option name that you have here for all three options, you have to keep them the exact same name in Shopify. So you can name them whatever you want here and then just copy and paste it in Shopify but you just want to make sure that they're exactly the same. Otherwise, the app won't connect properly, and then it will be just tough uh, fulfilling your orders and stuff. So anyways, copy and paste it, just like that. You can charge shipping, like, you know, do $9.95 for priority. At the time of recording this video, I believe priority shipping is about, well, it depends on the weight and the size and stuff, but, like, for, in this case, we're using, like, humidifiers, those humidifiers, which I have used Amazon MCF for, they were about, you know, they only weigh like, I think, eight ounces, including the box and stuff. So I think for priority shipping for one of those units, it was like $16.95. Uh, for expedited two to three day shipping, it was about $9. And then standard shipping was about, I think, $6 or something. And usually during the holidays, they tack on it. Um, a holiday surcharge so it's like an extra like 50 cents per uh, order that Amazon fulfills but I mean honestly it's really nothing compared to the fast shipping that the customer is getting so anyways you're gonna save those shipping options okay you're gonna save these as well and also yeah you do want to select your default Amazon shipping speed so this is the one that you know your customers will automatically get as their shipping option. That's like the default. And in this case, I just do two day because um, that definitely works well. And then assign products to Amazon MCF and Shopify. So we're going to go to product page. In this case, I already have my product set up and all that. So in this case, we'll go to this one. Here are the products and stuff, prices, all of that. So one thing I forgot to mention is you want to for whatever products you have and however many variants you want or that you have, you want to have the SKU, the Amazon SKU in here. So for example, this is the white humidifier. Let's scroll down here, we're gonna copy this SKU, which is the white humidifier. We're gonna go back here and paste it, which in this case it's already pasted. But um, you'll do that for each SKU or each variant of this product that you have. And then you know you'll make sure it's in there. You'll also make sure that um so yeah that's good okay yeah never mind um but yeah for each one also if you go and like edit in bulk you'll also have like the location and stuff you want to make sure the location is amazon mcf so you're going to change it to amazon mcf the sku is still the same track quantity yep um all that looks good so we're going to save that and you'll do that for each sku um but then, you know, you can go back over here, click this button, and you can also do it this way faster. So for, these are the different variants, the different color variants for the humidifier. And so you're going to want to change the stock at option to Amazon MCF. So right now it says multiple locations. Change that to Amazon MCF for all of them. Okay, then click save. And then you are good to go, guys. Like that's literally how fast it is. And then once you, you get, you can always do a test order. You can always order a product yourself to make sure that this works. Um, but usually then once you get an order, then it, it'll take, you know, um, a little bit for Amazon to receive it. It'll say like it's receiving and stuff like that. And then, you know, it'll basically say once it's fulfilled and stuff like that on your Shopify dashboard, but also on here. Um, but I hope this video finds you well, guys. This is pretty quick. Um, but I wanted to share this with you guys because this took so long for me to figure out, you know, before they even created this app. Um, th they didn't used to have their own app. They had it for a while. They took it away and then they brought it back. And um, 
And so it just took me so long to figure out how to set this stuff up, but I want to create a quick tutorial for you guys to show you how to do it. So that way you guys don't get so, you know, so that way you guys aren't stressed out about it or anything like that, like I was. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, y'all.